I am now going to go into, um, just going to establish the three components again. So we're looking at desktop software, nav device, and, and device software. And it is time for me to now demonstrate um, a little bit. This is called Google My Maps, and you can Google it. It's quite easy, You you um, and it's free. In other words, the same way you've got Google Maps, you've got um, Google My Maps as their free version. So what's really great is um, Google Earth and Google Maps and Google My Maps, they all use the same satellite image tech and mapping tech, but they have different, they have different um, features. And, and like I said, Google Earth is more aimed at viewing, flying, and, and looking at stuff from the top. Google Maps is aimed at navigation, um, where they actually say navigate from here to there. And then Google My Maps is really cool because you can actually develop your own maps um, on this. Okay, so there I've, I seem to have my mouth back. Okay, so this is what the interface looks like. Um, you guys can see I've been using Google My Maps for, for many years, so I have quite a lot of um, um, maps on here. And I'll quickly go through it, and just as an example, um, look at this, there's, there's a whole little database of routes in Cape Town. Okay, so that's typically, that's, that's one of my databases with Cape Town routes. Um, this this actually came from someone else that was um, published um, published online. Okay, but I I want to demonstrate. So I want to show you guys how it actually works. Okay, so if I go to all maps, okay, um, I'm getting distracted here. Let's quickly look at the mapping tool itself. So I'm going to create a map as a demonstration quickly for you. So the first thing, this is just a live demonstration. I don't have anything in mind. I'm just going to whip out a, a, a quick route here. Um, this is in South Africa, so for the guys that are um, that have joined us from overseas, we've got quite a lot of guys from overseas. This is close to where I live. It's called Gauteng. Um and you can see it's got Google My Maps has got the same interface as Google Maps. The difference is you can now develop your own map. So let's let's give this a, a name. I'm going to call it Test Map. Then, okay, back to the interface. I quickly want to show you guys on the left hand side. You've got your main um, layers, you can have up to 10 layers in Google My Maps. The layers aren't there for each route. The layer is specific so that you can hide it. In other words, a layers feature is there so that you can turn it on and off. And which, which really helpful is if you've got complex, um, if you have complex uh, uh, maps, then and, and let's say waypoints and stuff you can turn all the waypoints off and only have a look at the, the map so you you can have 10 layers which is great and then also you can change the base layer which is currently it's in mapping mode so i'm going to zoom in there i hope it's not too slow um i need to see where i'm close to here okay so this is sort of close to where i live in centurion and i might want to look at the google earth type of satellite view not difficult to do. Okay, so you've got all the all the satellite imagery and topography that you have in Google Earth and Google Maps. You actually have available in Google My Maps as well, which is really fantastic. This view does make it difficult to design a route purely because it's difficult to see the line. So I tend to swap between the two. Okay, so let's let's have a look now. How do I physically do a a route? So so I'm going to take a a very common route that we do is going from from close to let's say where I live in Centurion and we we typically I want to basically draw a route let's say that goes to Kalinen here. Kalinen is a is a place that we ride quite often and there's a whole lot of off-road routes. I'm not going to go into too much detail but I want to show you how to how easy it is to draw. So at the top if you can see my mouse there at the top there you've got your main tools, you've got your select tool, you've got your marker, which will put a, 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 a point of interest, or what you call it, a pin in, and then you've got this little thing, draw a line, which is actually the one that you're gonna use most. So I'm quickly gonna select that, add a line. So you can see you've got other options, I'm not gonna go through all the functions, I'm gonna add a line, and I'm basically, I live about there, and I'm gonna do one line from there to Kalinen, okay. And I'm just going to enter so that the line is there. And I'm just going to leave it as line one. You will see it's updated on the left-hand side. Okay, and I'm, I tend to make my lines just a little bit wider. I don't know if you guys saw how I did that. Once you're on the line, you can see you've got this little style tool and you can make it different colors. I also tend to change the color. Let's. I'm going to make it red so that it highlights better. Okay, now a really cool thing 
that Google does, I'm not sure about all the other software, is I don't know what they call it, but they break the line in half. So you go see there's a little thing there in the middle. So I tend to basically take that and as soon as I drag it into where I want it, you will see it divides the, the rest of the lines in half as well. Now it makes it really easy to basically change what I want to do. So I'm, I actually know this route, so I'm going to try and do a bit of an off-road thing. I'm going to drag this. Do we usually come out somewhere there? And now I need to zip through this, this estate here called Fruit Fontaine. And I know that route, but I'm basically, see I take it in the half line, drag it there, I drag that one there, and I basically drag that one there. Okay, now it's starting to give me a line that follows, but you guys can see over here, I'm not following, there's a, there's a, a route that I have to take through the plot here. So what I do is, you'll see how I'm, I'm basically, let's say I'm going north, northeast and then north. So what I want to do is I basically want to, and all you do is, which is actually an amazing technique, is you just half everything. So you take the line in the middle, in the center, and you half it. And it basically takes on that shape. Now if I zoom in, have a look here, if you actually ride this route, do you guys see from, from there where I'm going past this Nkwe, Pleasure Resort, there's, there's, my, there's my road, but if I'm on the bike and I look at this, it's going to look like I'm off route because I'm riding on the tar and the line is off the road. So what I do is I actually put a point wherever there's a very specific turn that I need to follow. So that turn is over there and then you'll see there's a 90 degree here. So I'll basically do something like that. And all of a sudden, if I'm on my bike, I literally follow the line. If I get to this intersection, there's a very nice red line that says turn right. Now, you'll see if I zoom out again, I, I, I have to do this little section off-road here. But my line now jumps straight to Kalinan. So I basically want to take my half points and just put them so that they basically form. You see, I, I basically want to do this white line until that intersection there's my half point pull it there okay now and then over here i might just to show the direction of the road do that okay so all of a sudden i'm following this line which is really quite cool but this is a, a basic demonstration of how how i do this and i'll show you now that you can actually show the topography as well using the google earth view without swapping files literally straight in google you can do all that but yeah so so on this on this typical design i can zoom in as far as i want let's say this is a single track just as a demonstration i don't know if the colors are, are clear enough but this so what i what i tend to do is once i know what i want to run i see oh yes yeah i'm all going completely off the road so i'll typically do something like this and just follow the basic contour of the road. Specifically, let's say over here, I'm zooming in quite a bit now. Here you've got a potential corner that if I come around this corner, I might not know if I wanna go left and right. The problem is if your, if your route makes a split, you sometimes you have to sort of ride 10 meters into the direction to see if you're still on track. Now to avoid that is quite easy. All you do is you make a hard turn. So once I'm at that corner, I make sure that the road, if, I, if I'm coming from the north and I'm riding south, it, it's quite clear once I get there that I'm going to have to turn left. So you can use all these little techniques to, let me just go out there again, to make it really easy on the trail to do that. My problem with Basecamp in relation to this is that I can't share this. I, I can share this with my friends. I can't share Basecamp with my friends unless I send them a file. So the great thing now is, let's say this is a rough route. You guys can see here, this is my test map. I've got my lines. Let's say there's a coffee place. Um, I actually know there's a coffee place quite close to this little turn here. It's the airport. This is Kitty Hawk Airport. And I might want to have coffee there. So what I tend to do is I'll do a different layer. I'll just click on it and call this layer POIs, points of interest. That layer is going to be called my route roots 
and I'll stand next to you. You'll see if I hover over, you guys can, can you see how I select the different layers? You can move them and turn them on and off and stuff. But what I want to show you is I can basically take my marker and put a point of interest there and I can call this, um, uh, let's say, uh, coffee spot. And I can actually, if I really want to, I can even change the symbol. Let's say, ooh, wine. That might be better. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I'm just going to scroll down there. Okay, so um, there we go. So I've got my coffee spot. And just to show you guys, if I if I build more complex routes, then I will basically, if you look at the left-hand side, I'll turn portions of the of the map on and off to see. Okay, great thing is, if you look here, there's a share button. I can then share this map simply by mailing someone. So I can go there and I can say basically anyone that has, this is for, I'm, I'm a Google customer, so anyone with a link, can be a viewer or an editor and I can copy this link and send it to my friends and they can basically. So what's great about this is before you go on a ride, everyone can contribute and say, listen, why don't we ride this piece? Or let's say, yeah, we've got, uh, that looks like a, a cool route to do. So what I'll do is I'll basically add a line there and I'll say, maybe we try and do this one. So I can, can do the route like this as well. So I also use Tracks for Africa. Tracks for Africa is basically loaded on Basecamp. And then from Basecamp, I'll convert it into a Google Map. So I do all my mapping in, in this. And, and we actually use um, Tracks for Africa routes on, on our rides. 